Well, it's hard to find a family not touched by cancer. And now News Channel 5's Kristen Scovera takes us to a local lab where scientists are actually developing new ways to fight the disease. Matthew Lang has spent more than a decade researching cancer-fighting T-cells. Well, I'm looking at a bead that's trapped on the screen with our laser beam. Lang is a professor of chemical and biomolecular engineering at Vanderbilt. He's trying to develop so-called killer T-cells that will be able to find and attack tumors in the body. T-cells are a type of white blood cell and part of the immune system. These are T-cells that are scanning. Lang describes them as little bloodhounds. They hunt around your body looking for foreign targets, in this case, mutations from cancer. If we can find the, the right peptide in these cancers, these T cells can see it. If we can find the right cell and the right peptide, there's hope. Once a T cell finds what it's looking for, it can copy itself, making other little bloodhounds that will kill cancerous cells. The good news is, is that these cells are extremely sensitive. We've been able to trigger them with two molecules. Lang says by applying a very, very small amount of force and basically flinging them at damaged cells, a T cell's ability to recognize its target is dramatically enhanced. It's very exciting. Pam Coyle works in the engineering department. She's also a cancer survivor and says Matt's work is very promising. Anything that can be more targeted and less invasive is going to be good for 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 everybody. Kristen Scovira, News Channel 5.